Our pronouns are told you so. The Daily Mojo. Uh, and 6% CSA Podway. What about the Dan Bongino thingy you promised yesterday and uh, like a scumbag you did not deliver on? Wow. So harsh. Sorry. It uh, actually, uh, I made that last part up. Uh, but here's the picture of, uh, it was the morning in San Francisco. Uh, that's where the fog is coming from. That and Mike Sacco's phone. Jeez, Debbie, he diff. I know what I'm getting Mike Sacco for Christmas. It's a cleaning wipe for the lenses on his phone. And just let it be known that the picture of Mike and Dan turned out clean because I took it and wiped the damn lens off. Damn it. Anyway, here's the uh, picture. This was over at uh, Bongino's. Bongino's book signing at uh, Grapevine Mills in Texas. And, I mean, sure, dude's in good shape. Whatevs. Uh, but there's uh, Bongino. He's the one on the right. I'm the one on the left. And I look like I'm bending over and, like, there's something in my pants. Not a good thing. Like, a load. There's Bethy not in the uh, middle there. And my mouth's open. And the reason this is, and who was it that said, uh, if you tried to suck it in anymore, your your st- stomach would be coming out your ass. And I'm like, okay, I wasn't ready. I was I was moving over into position. They're like, here, you're over here. And I, I was going in to move and to take another step forward and click. <laughs> and it's like, here you go. We're done. Son of a. And I honestly, we didn't, I didn't want to speak take up too much of Bongino's time because he was there signing books for people who had purchased books. I didn't purchase a book. I went over there at 10 uh, in the morning on Friday and was going to buy a couple of books and, and actually I was going to get one to give away to y'all uh, signed by Dan. And I got there and the line was out the door in both directions. Hundreds of people already, it seemed. And I in my customary speaking to myself, I uh, turned around and said, nope. And I started walking right back. I said, I don't care if Taylor Swift is naked inside uh, Books A Million. I am not waiting in line. So, uh, which I think is fairly true. Yeah, I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. Anyway, uh, that was it. I mean, I wasn't ready. It looks like I'm bending over like an old, shut up. Bending over like an old dude with my mouth open. And, you know, I do have a larger noggin than Mongino does. I will, uh, I will say that. I mean, sure. Sure, he's in shape. But I've lost a few. Some kudos there. By the way, that's a story. I, I was not ready. That and I hate my picture being taken anyway. I really, truly do. I cannot stand looking at myself. I know that may surprise you, but it is true. But Bongino is one of those guys who is um, actually is like Doc. What you see is what you get, which is nice. And the two of them were uh, pretty close too. Uh, Bongino there at the uh, at the end of the Doc's tenure at the other place was like, dude, just come over, work with me, I'll give you a podcast over here, and you know the rest of the story. Uh, Deuce five, uh, did Brad perhaps uh, need to take a dump, and uh, he had a turtle head poking out. It does look that way. I will grant you that. It does indeed. But I think, and I started watching The Secret. I think I watched it years ago. But knowing that, you know, I hate my picture being taken, I probably did that to myself. I mean, I probably manifested that in the real world. So it's my fault. Whatever. I can take it. Pile on. Just go ahead. Pile on. Uh, see Kiki Aki. Wow. So cool. You're so tall, Brad. Love tall people. We are, um, you know, there's some of us who are okay. I know a few tall people who are, you know, who uh, was also there was Moon Griffon and he is, uh, out of Louisiana and, um, he has a very unique voice, very gravelly. And, um, he's, uh, he and I are about the same size and, uh, Zono says, looks like you're holding your pants up. <sighs> Maybe I was. American Jackass, Brad's pushing out a donut. See, they write themselves. They write themselves. Uh, 
Bra- Bard, stop pushing random buttons. I tell you, it's, this is what happens. In any event, uh, we all do. We really, truly do have to stick together. So I don't care if you who, what show you support, what platform you support, as long as you are supporting free speech, as long as you are, you know, on the right side of history here. And that's what, because if we're not, if we don't work together, we are scarred, as Stanley used to say at the uh, end of each shoot, in addition to that is a wrap. But it's not. Don't go anywhere. The First Amendment. Did you know that you have rights? The Constitution says you do. Lives here. Watch and listen at thedailymojo.com.